Hello, Starstream here. You're listening to Geek Central Station and Home Atomics Network. Stay tuned or I'll come looking for you. Oh my lord. Hello everybody, happy 4th of July. Welcome to Geek Central Station, where the awesome just keeps on chugging. My name is John, and to commemorate this 4th of July, we have here Transformers Prime Smokescreen. And the reason why I picked this guy, he's all red, white, and blue. He's decked out for the day. Well, if he only didn't have that armor. See, Hasbro had the foresight fortunately enough, to have this Beast Huntery armor so that they could give us a clean smoke screen from the show. There you go. And take that off. Ta-da! And I'm not even going to bother with that anymore. I mean, it looks cool like that. It kind of looks like a Batmobile. But I'm not going to deal with that for the rest of the review because I don't really know how to put it on for Robot Mo. It's just uh, what you really want is this guy all fresh like this and everything he is very cool rolls around very nicely he's got his classic 38 from his g1 self he is more white than blue i think the original had more blue and red accents than white or blue Ugh, main parts red white and red and blue and the white was more of an in-between everything and he had all the like the NASCAR stickers on him with the 38 so you can see he's got like purple translucent windows it looks very very neat I mean, you can still kind of see inside but it all it all works very nicely and very little uh, kibble underneath it all goes down very flat which is very very nice so let's go ahead and compare him with some other guys first of all Ultra Magnus right there. Let's see. They're about the same width, roughly. Here, I'm pointing it straight at me, and I should be pointing it straight at you. Zoom a little there. Kind of put them side to side. And Ultra Magnus is a little longer than the smoke screen, but it kind of makes sense. This means it's the truck. It's not it's a car, truck. Kind of makes sense. I'm, I think a, a bit of... Uh, a bit in scale, maybe a little out of scale, but still pretty cool nonetheless. And you have another car here from the Generations line. You got Drift, which is a humongo car. This guy is huge, longer than smoke screen for crying out loud, and does a pretty good job of concealing all of its stuff underneath as well. Very nice. And then you got Prowl right here. And thankfully, these guys are getting some masterpiece treatment. Got Prowl is getting a masterpiece. Smokescreen is getting his own cartoon accurate masterpiece, which is very ooh good for you. Very cool. Uh, yeah. I'm just thinking people are gonna buy more masterpiece Prowls than they are Blue Streak or Smokescreen. But we will see, especially with the different deco. Everybody's gonna be like, I have to get them all. Luckily, they're only 80-some, but they're still like the size of a deluxe. I'm trailing off on the Masterpiece rant. That's for another time. Let's go ahead and transform him, shall we? Alright, first thing you want to do is just go ahead and pull this tab back, and then kind of split this all apart, and then you can bring, uh, bring this up right here, kind of split it, and then come up here. This is maybe what you want to do before you do the top of the car. Just go ahead and use your fingernails and pop these parts up because it's all top part of the car and the hoods are all linked. Accordion those up on top right there. And I think I can zoom out a little bit more. Yeah, that helps. Okay. Let's go ahead and flip that up. Don't really need to. And yeah, yeah that's right. This is the back of the leg. You go ahead and flip down the feet, which are pretty ginormous. Just got this part right here, and then ooh, there's the foot. It's kind of funny. Then you go ahead and flip these around from the bottom of the car to the top. And there's a peg here, 
a little slot in there in the molding. Just go ahead and do that. I think it's funny that this design is like half done. You would expect maybe this side to have the paint since this side faces the bottom. You know, maybe you wouldn't want your painted apps to get all scuffed. Luckily, everything hides very well and doesn't touch the ground. You're lucky, Hasbro. You're lucky. <laughs> and then everything's kind of a jumbled mess up here now. I'll go ahead and rotate the camera up. So, let me get this back so you can see where things were. It all kind of undoes itself. So you got it with the wheels like that and all that stuff right there. And just go ahead and unpeg this top portion, move it out there. And then you go ahead and take this part, which is attached to the wheels, and you rotate so the wheels are on the inside. Hmm, people got some fireworks going. Cool stuff. It is 4th of July, anyway. And you go ahead and rotate the head up while you have the clearance right there. And then go ahead and bring this up to get out of the way. We'll peg it more in later. And then you go ahead and rotate the waist so it's facing on the correct side. You go ahead and rotate these translucent bits to underneath the forearm and it will lock right there so that he has that underarm kibble. And do the same thing with the side. And you go ahead and just make sure that the tire is facing on the inside. There's this little peg right here which will fit into one of the holes on there. Go ahead and do that. Get that like that. Rotate this up and then rotate the neck part down because there's a little slot right here. This slot goes here. This top one goes right there. So you need to make sure all of that is lined up properly. And then you can rotate the side windows down. And then there's this like couple peg thing here and it pegs into right there. You plug it in right there and you rotate. Ah, probably should have done that. No, wait, 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 probably too much. Come on. Sometimes these wheel pegs like to get loose for some reason. Because there's nothing on the side holding them in. There you go, should be like that. And go ahead and rotate this point right here up into the shoulder armor. Do so for the other side when your hand is not blocking the camera your proverbial camera, which is your eyes. And presto, changeo, that is smokescreen from Prime. And some of you might notice, what's different on this guy? Come on, John, there's something you did different. I've been, cus I've been, blah, blah. I've been experimenting with painting with stuff and I decided to paint his head crest. Yes. Well, not the main one. The ones on the sides. The ones that aren't painted for some reason. I decided to do that. And I actually did a pretty good job. I'm just missing a little bit on that side because I didn't want to get too close and smudge it. But overall, I think I did a pretty good job. And it really helps to look at this figure to be more accurate with that. But the one coming out of the box, unfortunately, those red bits on the head, they're white, but it's very easy to go in with a paint marker and you be very careful and you brush it or, you know, color it in. <clears throat> I have, still haven't put a clear coat on it yet. We'll see, but I mean, it's not really tacky anymore. It's had a few days to dry, so that's good. A little customizing tip for you guys right there. How about that? I'm just a jack of all trades. Unlike Wheel Jack. Yeah, maybe he is a jack of combat trades certainly likes grenades that's for sure but getting back to this guy let's go ahead and go over his posability let's just go ahead and zoom out a bit you got the shoulder which is on a ball joint so it can go up but it's hampered by the shoulder armor there you got a ratcheted elbow and a little bit of a bicep swivel in that elbow just above it but it gets hampered with the other stuff and it's actually quite tight so it, it, you'll probably not find it apparent but when you transform it, it it's very helpful to have that 
because otherwise everything wouldn't fit as nicely as it does. And he's got a waist joint. I mean, it's nice, but it's there because of the transformation. See, I like I like waist joints when they're not needed for transformation. They're just throwing it in there because they care. You know? I don't know. I, I, somebody really needs to tell me if there's some sort of part count quota or something they need to do for toys to the point where the, the waist joint is the last thing they think about. I mean, waist joints are nice. But I'm going to stop gushing about that. Let's get to the leg articulation. Got hips right there, and you got knees. Those aren't ratcheted, but the, the hips are ball jointed, and you get the thigh swivel right there. The um, ankles are only a little bit posable because of the transformation. So that's that. And then the head is completely posable, it's on a ball joint. 360. Go all exorcist on us. <laughs> oh god. No, let's not do that. <laughs> Alrighty. So there is the posability for this guy. Let's go ahead and compare him with some other guys, shall we? Let's go ahead and compare him with Ultra Magnus from Prime. Oh, yeah, that works. Maybe it should be a little taller, but it works. I like it. And you have Drift right here. Almost called him Thrust. <laughs> I wonder why. Uh, no, really, I don't get it. Why? Moving on. Prowl. Little tiny Prowl. He has a deluxe coming out. Like that. But then BakCon showed us a deluxe smokescreen that's like that. Why? K. I I think Hasbro's doing a little too much of something that they shouldn't be doing. At least they're giving us a Rhinox. I love Rhinox. Listen more about BotCon stuff at Good Evening Chart Podcast. Since we have them all comparisoned, let's go ahead and take these guys away. Smokescreen would like to wish all of you a very happy 4th of July. Stay safe and watch the fireworks be awesome because America's awesome oh yeah awesome all right let's go ahead and transform him back first what you're gonna want to do is snap your fingers and he just does it automatically no it doesn't work twice John Dang it. first of all what you're gonna want to do is move the feet back and then rotate the shins back to where they were before. You know, because transforming is kind of like doing the thing we did before, but backwards. And then go ahead and just rotate the waist, because we can. Makes everything less complicated later. And just fold the feet in. Plug all of this together. And then flip that down. I always plug it in together when this is out, just because it it helps. I don't know. I had issues before when this was down and plugging him in. Overall, the tolerances on this guy are pretty great. I have no complaints. He's loose in the areas he should be and tight in the other ones where he, you know, should be. And then just go ahead and unplug the doors right there. And bring them down and there. The other stuff might get in the way since it's probably a little early to bring that down. But it's a good thing to do because all the business stuff is up here in the arms right now. And just go ahead and unpick that and bring it down. Helps everything line up down there. And go ahead and bring the head up like that. You know, because you, everybody can totally do this. This is such a natural thing to do. Just tuck your head in, go to sleep. Go in your card mode and go to sleep. <laughs> I wonder, when Transformers that are cars and they go to a party and get drunk, are they, do they have their T-Cog taken out so they can't drive home? Or what? 
Huh. I know, something for y'all to think about. Let's go ahead and rotate these bits down. And these bits down. There, go ahead and rotate with the arm inward. And then rotate all this arm kibble on top of the arm. And then go ahead and put all of this in here. It's kind of hard to see because it's like all kind of at the same time inside of here. But not as crazy as uh, Arms Micron Ultra Magnus. Go ahead and put the front end together. Probably could have done that before, but that was a good time. Don't want to do it any later. You can go ahead and bring the hood forward. And you just want to do that for the other side as well. Rotate it arm side in try to rotate the other way yeah I just ripped his arm off okay ah, there we go rotate it around rotate this part there we go ah that's why I had that rotate on the wrong side you just want to do that and do this, do that, do this, do that, blop, 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 blop. Shooby doo wah, bop, yeah. <laughs> okay. There's a little part on top of the the arm that the, the post will go in the groove so that it can go in here bright. Cha. Okay. The arms are pretty complicated to get back into robot mode, but don't fret. You just take, go at it nice and easy. Try to get everything all connected before you start to put it into the actual car. See, there we go, we got that pegged. And you'll be pretty good. You just go ahead and get those out. They'll straighten out when you put them out more because the way the hinge is kind of brings them in, I guess, to reduce the kibble. So they just, they kind of mash into each other. And as you're putting it in, these will kind of flare out. Just go ahead and grab them and pinch them in. You're not gonna hurt anything. Jeez, this side likes to pop out. Hang on a sec. There we go. Got it. Okay. Go ahead and try to... Jeez! Okay, this is the most issues I've been having with this guy. It's really not that hard. Okay, you got that there. Just go ahead and squeeze these in. And nothing's pegged out this time. So once you have the arms in there, you shouldn't have any ball joints pop out. And then there's little clips right here. Doors clip and everything get that clipped you just kind of need to squeeze everything and you'll get everything nice and tight and good to go and I'm not gonna put that other armor back on there because he looks great like this there you go so I hope you've all had a very nice 4th of July uh, go ahead and stay tuned next week for another Viacon review and I think next at the end of next week, I think I have a mystery Creo V build or another review. I can't remember. One of those. It's a mystery to us all. You'll find out. Um, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, subscribe to both Geek Central Station and Home Atomics Network. Very important to do both. We've got a lot of cool stuff going on over there. Oh, come on. Don't end pig on me. Don't end pig. There we go. Alrighty. And thank you very much for watching. Drive home safe and have a fantastic day. Oh my god! Why is this so hard? Home Atomic!